Hello friends, welcome to Kasim's laboratory. This video will cover the first chapter of class 6 science NCERT textbook. The chapter is food. Where does it come from? This chapter has been divided into five questions. Starting from the very basic question that is what do you mean by food to the last question that talks about the different types of animals based on their food habits. So let's begin. What do you mean by food? Food is any substance that humans, animals and birds eat to survive. Some animals and birds eat flesh, some eat plants and green leaves, some eat grains, fruits and vegetables. A remaining few eat everything like humans do. But does that mean any substance? No. Food includes those substances that provides necessary nutrients to the body. Nutrients are special material which provides energy to the body and also helps the body to grow and heal. What are the different variety of food which humans eat? The reason for discussing this question at the very first place is because humans eat a variety of food and what is even more special about humans is that they cook their food. I am sure each one of you must be having their own favorite food. South Indians like their idli and dosa. Alu paratha and rajma chawal is the favorite in North India. The Punjabis love to eat butter chicken whereas the Bengalis relish eating fish. People in Northeast India have a special dish called momos which I am sure many of you might have eaten. Similarly, different regions of the world also have different food in their menu. Chinese have noodles, the Arabs have shawarma and the western countries have their pizzas and burgers. What are the ingredients of each food? Ingredient means the constituent of each food or in other words individual items of the food. Let's look into few examples. Let's start with the very simple one plain rice and dal fry. Plain rice consists of rice grain, water and salt. Dal fry consists of any of the lentils like mashoor dal and poor dal, water, salt, onion, tomato, ginger that is adrak, garlic that is lesun, groundnut oil and turmeric powder which is haldi. Idli consists of rice grain, water, salt, fenugreek that is methi and black lentils that is urad dal. Alu paratha consists of potato, water, salt, onion, wheat flour, green chilli and groundnut oil. Rice kheer which is a popular sweet dish in India consists of rice, milk, sugar, raisins that is kishmish and dry fruits like almond. Butter chicken which is a non-vegetarian dish consists of chicken, water, salt, onion, butter, ginger, garlic, groundnut oil and red chilli powder. The number of ingredients vary from kitchen to kitchen and I have listed only the basic ones. I will suggest you to sit with your mother and know more about the ingredients of food items. What you will find is that most of the food items have many common ingredients. What are the sources of various food ingredients? The various food ingredients which we use to prepare our food items are mostly derived from plants and animals. Let us first look at the ingredients derived from plants. These ingredients are derived from the various parts of the plant that is the fruit, flower, leaves, stem and root. Before moving on, we must understand the term edible. The word edible means anything that is eatable or anything that is fit to be eaten. Mango is an edible fruit whereas plastic is not edible. We must also understand that not every part of the plant is edible. Let's look at some examples of edible flower, fruit, leaves, 
stem and root broccoli and cauliflower are commonly eaten flour sunflower oil is derived from the sunflower the costly spice saffron also called as zafran used to give aroma to food item is derived from the inside of a type of crocus flower the sweet and fleshy product of a tree or a plant that contains seed is called as fruit fruit includes strawberry watermelon apple papaya tomato orange etc some example of edible leaves are spinach that is palak lettuce celery basil coriander that is curry patta and cabbage sugarcane is an edible stem the edible portion is the inner stem whose sap is a source of sugar cinnamon spice is one more common example of an edible stem onion potato and ginger are the most common edible stems that are actually underground stems root vegetables are underground plant parts eaten as food beetroot sweet potato carrot and turnip are few examples of underground edible roots now let's move on to animal products animal products primarily includes dairy product that is milk curd ghee paneer cheese and butter meat which consists of poultry pork beef and fish eggs from poultry and finally honey which is essentially an animal product honey starts as flower nectar collected by bees it is then broken down into simple sugar it turns into honey inside the honeycomb now finally there are also certain edible food ingredients that are not collected from any plant or animal for example certain chemicals and minerals like baking powder used in cake and the most common and important salt what are the different types of animals based on their food habits three different types of animals exist based on their food habits herbivores carnivores and omnivores the term herbivorous is derived from the latin word herba meaning a small plant or herb and from vorer which means to eat or devour herbivores are animals that eat only plant or plant products example include goat cow buffalo elephant and horse the term carnivorous is derived from the latin word caro meaning flesh carnivores are animals that eat only flesh or meat of other animals example lion and tiger the term omnivorous comes from the latin word omni meaning all or everything omnivores are animals that eat both plant and animal products pigs bears sloths squirrels rats and chimpanzees are all omnivorous animals humans eat both plant and animal products and are therefore categorized as omnivores question number 1 do you find that all living beings need the same kind of food the answer is no all living beings need different kind of food it depends on their food habits herbivorous animals eat plants or plant products on the other hand carnivorous animals eat only animal products omnivorous animals can eat both plant as well as animal products question number 2 name five plants and their parts that we eat answer the plants are brinjal carrot sugarcane spinach and groundnut the parts of the plant are brinjal which is essentially the fruit of the plant because it contains the seed carrot which grows underground is the root of the plant sugarcane is the stem in spinach plant we eat the leaf part of the plant groundnut is a seed which we eat question number 3 match the items given in column a with that in column b milk curd paneer ghee are all animal products spinach cauliflower carrot are vegetables lions and tigers eat other animals herbivores eat 
plants and plant products. Question number four. Fill up the blanks with the words given. Tiger is a carnivore because it eats only meat. Deer eats only plant products and so is called herbivore. Parrot eats only plant products. The milk that we drink which comes from cows, buffaloes and goats is an animal product. We get sugar from sugar cane. Activity number one. Ask your friends in the school about the items they would be eating during a day. Why this activity? The activity is to be done to find out the variety of food eaten by human beings. We find that human beings eat a variety of food for breakfast, lunch, as evening snacks and for dinner. We also find that the food varies with the native state of the student. Activity number 2. Choose some of the items you listed in previous table and try to find out what ingredients are used to prepare them by discussing with your friends and elders at home. Why this activity? This activity is to be done to find out the various ingredients of food. We find that there are various food ingredients which are used to prepare the various dishes. We also find that there are some food ingredients which are common to all the food items. Activity number 3. Find out the source of various food ingredients listed in previous table. Why this activity? This activity is to be done to understand that the major source of food ingredients are plants and animals. The result shows that indeed the major source of food ingredients are plants followed by animals. From the previous table, choose those items whose ingredients are obtained from plants and then identify the plant parts from where these food ingredients are derived from. Why this activity? This activity is to be done to identify the edible parts of various plants. What we found is that the edible part varies from plant to plant. It may be the seed, root, fruit, stem or the leaves. Activity number 5. Prepare sprouted moong dal. Why this activity? This activity is to be undertaken to understand what sprouting is and also to prepare a simple and tasty food item. Steps. Take some dry seeds of moong dal. Put a small quantity of seeds in a container filled with water and leave this aside for a day. Next day, drain the water completely and leave the seeds in the vessel. Wrap them with a piece of wet cloth and set aside. After one day, a small white structure may have grown out of the seeds and the seeds are set to be sprouted. Add some spices and get a tasty snack to eat. Activity 6 and 7 for the sake of simplicity, we have conjoined these two activities. The objective of the activity is to find out the food eaten by the animals listed in the table and classify them as herbivore, carnivore and omnivores. Why this activity? This activity is to be undertaken to find out the variety of food eaten by various animals and also to understand the concept of herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. We find that buffalo, cow and butterfly are herbivorous animals because they feed only on plant and plant products. For example, butterfly which feeds only on leaves of plants. Cat, lion, tiger, spider and house lizard are all carnivorous animals. Rat, human beings and crow are omnivorous animals. Project number one. The objective of the project is to find out the food taken by a garden lizard and also to find out if there is any difference in the food taken by a garden lizard and a house lizard. The image shows a garden lizard and a home lizard. A garden lizard feeds on grasshopper, snail, cricket and other small insects found in the garden whereas a home lizard feeds on housefly, small snail, 
mosquito and spider. We find that there is a difference between the food eaten by garden lizard and home lizard. The garden lizard which is larger in size and stays outside feeds on larger insects whereas home lizard feeds on smaller insect found inside house. Project number 2 Make a list of food items generally taken by people of different regions of India. Place these on a large outline map of India to display in your classes. As we can see, in India alone, we have a wide variety of food options. Idli and dosa from Tamil Nadu, Pootarekulu from Andhra Pradesh, Chila from Chhattisgarh, Chena Poda from Odisha, Fish Curry from West Bengal, Momos from Sikkim, Thukpa from Arunachal Pradesh, Litti Chokha from Bihar, Lakhnavi Kabav from Uttar Pradesh, Rogan Josh from Jammu and Kashmir, Rajma Chawal from the northern part of India, Dal Bhati Churma from Rajasthan, Poha from the central India Madhya Pradesh, Dhokla from Gujarat, Misal Pao from Maharashtra, Biryani from Telangana, BC Belabhat from Karnataka, and finally Appam from Kerala. Project number 3 Find out the names of plants that grow in water and which are eaten as food. The plants are lotus, cranberry, water chestnut, wild rice and water spinach. This brings us to the end of this chapter. What we find is that there is a lot of variation in the food eaten in different regions of India. The main sources of our food are plants and animals. Animals which eat only plants are called herbivores. Animal which eat only animals are called carnivores. Animal which eat both plants as well as other animals are called omnivores.